Now, most plans for tackling climate change involve reducing emissions with sponge-like compounds that require a ton of energy to release the CO2 afterwards. Now, planting trees is great as they act like a really big CO2 filter, but some are looking for a form of trapping and locking away carbon dioxide. And it is this method that draws inspiration from our scuba divers because we're just awesome. I actually don't know why more scientists don't look to us for more advice on their work. I just... Okay, so it's not actually us personally. Uh, it's all based on the equipment that we use, or some of us use, rebreathers. Rebreathers use a substance called soda lime to filter the exhaled air, uh, converting CO2 into solid calcium carbonate, and then the air can be recycled. You just need to top up any oxygen and it's good to breathe again. So what researchers are looking to do is instead of using soda lime to help soak up carbon dioxide from our atmosphere, because you need quite a lot of this stuff, uh, this new approach uses a naturally occurring compound called guanidine. So in aqueous solution, guanidine draws CO2 CO2 from the air and converts it into prism-like carbonate crystals that can be filtered out of the water. Heating this solid then releases the CO2 back again so that it can be stored. But the exciting part is, is that it uses far less energy than other processes. So other similar processes require heating to anywhere up to 900 degrees Celsius, which is quite hot. Uh, Unfortunately, that requires way too much energy to be worthwhile. Guanidine only has to be heated to 120 degrees Celsius, uh, and scientists have planned that that can be done via solar power. So CO2 is released as a gas, and the guanidine returns to a liquid state, so the two can be separated. CO2 just gets stored away until we're ready to deal with it, and the guanidine can be reused again. If this works, then it will be a simpler way to reduce CO2 emissions released by by Trump's favorite thing in the world, other than hamburgers, coal burning power plants. They can just bubble uh, emissions through the solution or some similar method. Uh, and this new process will also be 24% more energy efficient than current methods. Another plus for this new method is that the CO2 is released from bicarbonate crystals, which avoids evaporation and degradation, or degradation we should say, uh, over time. Uh, so that means that you can transport these crystals for some time and release the CO2 when you're ready. At this moment in time, they are just in the testing phase, just to see how it all works, but early results are looking very promising, which is great. And it's all thanks to our scuba divers, obviously. Um, only the reaper of the divers, I suppose, but it all comes back to scuba diving, sort of. Um, we obviously thought of it first. We can, well, you can receive the check in the mail. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, maybe we can use this guanidine tank somehow in our CCRs uh, so that we can reuse our scrubber and we won't have to pack another damn scrubber unit again for again. Um, okay, uh, we'll just have to filter out some crystals maybe after a dive and then heat it up. I don't know, Let's, the scientists can figure that out. Uh, what do you think about all of this? Will this idea work? The proper scientist emission stuff more than by selfish rebreather stuff. Um, I thought of it first though, nobody steal my idea. I'm heading off to the patent office now. Uh, let's have a chat in the comments below. Thanks for watching and safe diving. Where is the nearest? <laughs> We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.